everybody I know who lived through that era remembers the funerals all of us went to. I mean, they were constant. They were everywhere. Uh, we couldn't believe it. We really couldn't believe it that just huge numbers of people in Stonewall Democratic Club, gone. Uh, in uh, in uh, Harvey Milk Democratic Club, gone. It was r not too long after I got elected to the school board, which was in 83, um, and I began uh, hearing about this new organization, Age Project Los Angeles. I was working with um, uh, Roberta Weintraub, a very conservative woman, and I was considered the lefty pinko on the board, and she and I uh, managed to be the first school district in the nation that said that it was nobody's business who had AIDS or HIV, if they were an employee or if they were a student, that it was a medical issue, that our medical people would work with those people to make sure that they were not in any way staying in a place where they could infect others. Uh, we were the only school district in the country. All over the East Coast and all over the Midwest, the school districts were firing everybody who they thought might have AIDS. Uh, they were firing, they were making people go find, this, find out if they had HIV. They were, we were the only school district of any size in the entire country that did this, and I credit Roberta Weintraub because she took care of the right flank. And she said, no, 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 this is a medical issue. This is, this is not political, this is a medical issue. And we treat it like any other contagion, which is we have rules in our school district about employees and about children who might be contagious. I had done, in 26 languages, a pamphlet that was sent to every home in LA Unified about how you do and don't get AIDS. And I did that in the late 80s. Uh, and I had to actually go out to some schools to inform the nurse that she had to go through this with her students. Uh, because a lot of them were anti-gay people. You know, you can be a nurse and still be <laughs> not so cool in your politics or your social understanding of things. I actually literally went to some schools, and the, the part that they didn't want to add in was how you got it. And I said, you have to talk about anal sex. Oh, we can't talk about anal sex. Well, every one of those pamphlets talks about anal sex. I said, how, are you, how, do, you, how do you live with yourself if you don't tell people how not to get sick? They all came after us the, uh, when we did this, and we did school-based health clinics that uh, distributed condoms and, and uh, other, any kind of devices to protect kids. Uh, we were attacked by the archdiocese on a Sunday in every Catholic church in the city of Los Angeles. I remember negotiating the first um, domestic partner agreement with uh, Disney after we did the domestic partner agreement in City Hall, uh, the gay group at Disney called me up and said, we want you to meet with the CEO of Disney. And I went over there and told them how little it really cost the city to add gay couples because most of them had figured out something already. But I also said that what it meant was is that we were getting people who were staying employed with us because they could get coverage. I said, you guys always have trouble keeping people from jumping ship. If you're the first, everybody's gonna come to Disney. They signed three weeks later, and it did happen. People came to Disney. I was not one that wanted to start with marriage. I mean, I thought it was important, don't misunderstand me, but I wanted to start with work rights and rental and housing rights, because those affect everybody every day. And whether you get married or not, well, it affects you, but it doesn't have the same impact if you can't find a place to live or if your job is at stake if someone finds out you're gay. So I wanted to start there when I was in Sacramento, but I ended up writing the legislation that got us all but marriage instead because that's where movement people wanted to go, and so we went with them. But that's, you know, if you can still see, there are many, many states in this country where you can get married and be fired or get kicked out of your housing. That's just crazy to me.